Uh, who are you? Oh, hey, my name is Ben Smith. Your last name is Smith? Yeah, Ben Smith. Let me explain. It was when I first went to school that I had ever really noticed that anything was different about me. I talked to my dads about being nervous. What if I didn't make any friends? Or worse, what if I got a time out? My dads told me not to worry and to take a deep breath. They said I'd be great. Both of my dads dropped me off on the first day. I saw a lot of other kids and parents that day. Eventually, my dad's left, and I was on my own in school for the first time. It ended up being pretty fun. The teacher read us a picture book, I got to play with Legos, and we even had snack time. That was my favorite. Later that day, a little girl came up to me, and all of a sudden she asked, Why do you have two dads, and why don't you look like them? I remember feeling surprised by her question, and I didn't really know how to answer. Usually my dads were there to explain. As a little kid at the time, that was a big question for me, about my entire life story. I stood there quietly with a blank stare on my face, and played with my fingers as I thought about my answer. I remembered her and her parents coming earlier. I also remembered how good those cupcakes were at snack time. I loved cupcakes, but I guess that wasn't the answer she was looking for. Whenever I was nervous, my dads would tell me to take a deep breath. Inhale, exhale. So I took one last deep breath, I looked back at her, and I said, well, I was adopted from China when I was a baby, and just like you have a mom and a dad, I have a dad and a dad. She looked back at me with a confused look, as if she were trying to calculate something in her head. Uh oh, I thought, maybe she didn't understand. Then, all of a sudden, she exclaimed, What? That's so cool! I want two dads! My face lit up in excitement. I was so happy. So happy that she liked me and my family. I didn't realize it then, but her response really impacted me. It gave me the confidence to continue introducing myself, truthfully to others. To not hide or be ashamed of any part of what made me Look! Look, Ben! What do you think? Yeah. Looks so do you like it? Touch it, Ben. Touch it. Touch your hair. Can you touch it? Can you touch it? Feel it? That's black. Me! Yes. Doesn't that feel good? She embraced me and my differences, but only after I embraced them for myself. I made a new friend that day. I made many new friends. I guess my dads were right. I had nothing to worry about. Benji, Benji, Benjamin. Bye bye. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching my video and welcome to my new channel, Becoming Ben or Becoming Ben Smith. Uh, I really appreciate it and I can't wait to share more with you.
So I wanted to mention that the question that the little girl asked me was actually asked me all the time growing up. I think that people are naturally curious about the differences and luckily for me, she gave me a really positive response. Um, but that being said, and I guess I'm saying this for all the other kids out there that do have minor families or non-traditional families, you know, you can't always expect a positive response. Sometimes you're gonna receive negative responses, people calling you weird or your family weird or worse. You know, they'll say hurtful things about things that you honestly just can't change about yourself. So I think in those times especially, it's so, so, so important to continue to embrace yourself, to not want to hide any part of who you are. Just be you, be yourself, because in time you will find people that will love and embrace you for exactly who you are. And it's so important to um, give them the chance to do that. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that quickly. I think it's so important to love yourself, especially as you're growing up. If you have any thoughts or questions or ideas, feel free to comment them below. And my next video is about my adoption process and that should be coming out in a couple weeks. So feel free to subscribe if you want to be notified about that. And see you next time. Bye.